That's Andy and John at Hungry Hill again. John getting our gear all set up. Just had a car best by slowly, so we may be getting some visitors, but who knows. And this is where Hungry Hill gets its name. We're here with complete respect to whoever's lying here. And said this is called Hungry Hill because the provisions of, uh, what's that, privatations? What? Does that say privatations or privations? Uh, privations. So-called because of privations suffered by men of the 2nd New York and 5th New Jersey regiments of the Continental Line who encamped here while, char while changing a wilderness trail into the military road to pave the way for Sullivan's expedition against the Iroquois an unknown soldier of the revolutionary lies buried here. And sir, we are here with nothing but respect for you and mean you no disrespect, no harm. We're not here to mock you or anybody else here. If you're walking around with me, you can just speak into the microphone I have on this device in front of me and we'll be able to hear you. Some more of the, uh, yeah. I can sworn I just heard feet, footsteps behind me. Like, right over here. Is anybody back here? You guys, is somebody standing back here watching us set up? Not exactly the safest place with woods all around us with all that entails in Pennsylvania and that trip down. But again, we're here to learn to spread a message if we can. We've been here before with varied degrees of uh, contact, I believe. Um, some things we've been able to document, some things we haven't been able to document. Like we heard, a, John heard a scream. Well, I had headphones on that we just didn't pick up on anything, and which is pretty crazy. But again, this is a trail right here that leads out into the woods that could be deer, could be bear, could be people, you know, who knows? So my advice to anybody that's watching this that wants to investigate, be aware and careful of your surroundings and never break the law. If this place is not allowed to go, then don't go there. It's very simple. I mean, there's nothing here that says we cannot be here. So that's why we're here. We're not trespassing. We do not condone that in any way, shape or form. We do not condone vandalism in any way, shape or form. We despise that kind of stuff that gives everybody a bad name. There's a ton more traffic than last time. Yeah, there's a lot of traffic. We might have have a bit of an issue with that, but Well at the same time, last time we were here it was like eleven thirty at night, you know. That's true. So we'll give what we can get, you know. Ah, there it is. 
The joys of setting up. Yes, absolutely. This is the kind of stuff that you guys that watch our videos regularly don't get to see. <laughs> it's, it's not just showing up, hitting record and going to town. It's not that easy. It's not that quick. I don't know why, man, but that makes me nervous. What? That that path right there, you see it? Like I said, that could be any kind of animal. It could be human. Just walking through the animal. Again, anybody that's watching this investigation or any of our other investigations just be aware of your surroundings don't don't lose sight of where you are it's right over here um, we're walking along there's grass there's grass there's grass and then there's a big hill down to the road so did you say something John? I said, then there's a hill. <laughs> <laughs> then there's a hill. There's some American flags set up here by some respectful people. Let's see if you can, see if the, you guys can read that. And again, nobody knows the unfortunate young man the way he's in his grave. All we do know is he served his country. I don't know why, but that always freaks me out a little bit at night too. Ambulances going by. I think it's because of uh, uh, what was it? Um, I forget which Halloween it was, but the one where Michael Myers stole the uh, yeah. he killed the crew and took the uh, ambulance. So, all right. So let's let's go ahead and let's uh, let's do our intro over here. All right. Um, well, where you are I over could, here? Yeah, where I'm at. We'll use this camera, um, or if you want to use that camera. Oh, it doesn't make. I just want to set this one down while we're no, doing absolutely. this. Should I keep recording? Actually, we'll use that one. Let's let's use that one. This one's got the better light. And it's got the uh, the. Uh, where we where we want to do it? Yeah. Like right in front of the monument, maybe. Yeah. Let's set it up on the wall, pointing towards us. Probably do. Use what we have to help set us up. Go ahead, sit over here. How's that look? Do we see the... Oh, shit. Here, I got it. I got it. I'm like an inch away. <laughs> okay, you don't see the handle. We're good. We're good. You got it good. All right, so let's turn off the light. And, uh... I'm Andy, you're down? Yes. <laughs> yes. We're going to switch it off every now and again to keep, it, keep everybody uh, guessing. Yeah. One so. day I'll be Klaus and you can be Heinz. Oh. 
We'll be able to pump them up. Yes, yes. Moose and squirrel. You understand? You ever notice that when you're trying to be funny, you're absolutely stupid? Well, I, feel, I'm stupid. Not, I am not the least bit funny right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, good evening. Welcome back to our. Uh, welcome back to Haunted Poconos. Tonight we're at a location that we've been to on. But. <laughs> <laughs> um, good evening, welcome back to Haunted Poconos. Tonight, Andy and I are back to another location that we've been to in the past and one that we actually wanted to do a real video on. Um, not just what we've been doing in the past, which isn't, which isn't bad, but we wanted to give this place the justice and the honor it truly deserves. Um, right behind us, is the Hungry Hill Monument. Um, in 1779, uh, General Sullivan um, marched several men, uh, several thousand men, on an expedition to chase the Iroquois nations. Um, these, this march was brought on because there were several massacres that took place mainly one in the Cherry Valley of New York. Um, there was also another one, I forget exactly where it was, um, that brought on the Continental Army um, deciding to march against the Iroquois nations and use a scorch earth campaign. Um, pretty much any village that they came across, they were burning. They were killing everyone uh, that they could. Um, not saying it was right at all but this was the, the tactics of the time. Um, they wanted to end the war as fast as possible and win the war. Um, so here behind us is the grave of an unknown soldier. Um, this soldier was, um, he died from what we believe is starvation. That's what is written on the monument. Um, this encampment that was around here building the trail which later became known which became later known as Sullivan's Trail um, and there are many roads here in Pennsylvania named Sullivan's Trail um, now the reason why we decided to come out here the first time was more of on a whim. There was no reports of paranormal activity out here. Andy and I originally were thinking, would we be able to get a name to a, to a stone? Would we be able to find something that we could put a name to this soldier so that he is not an unknown soldier of the, the Continental Army, so that he is known, we can find out his story and be able to continue his story. Um, we've had some interesting results um, in past investigations, but nothing definitive of a name. And tonight we're going to try again, see if we can get a name, see who is who is buried here. And we've had many many different types of like we have we've had the ramp pod we've had k2 we've had the spirit box saying some things that made sense and it sounded like some things that was we were having a conversation with a woman yeah and there was a man trying to talk over that woman and while i was listening to that you heard a scream mm -hmm. but the names that came up that i heard through investigation could find nothing to have anything to do no with evidence. anything within 100 miles of this place so that's what you know. That's what. That's why you investigate. That's mm -hmm. why you don't just take something and say this is what we found because what we found inconclusive is inconclusive. That's um, now tonight we are going to be trying some different techniques. Um, there, I'm sure a lot of you have seen on the app stores on your phone. They're they're paranormal communication devices. Tonight we're going to try one to see if it, if it works, to be honest with you. Um, we're gonna try and see if A, it works, and B, 
if it does work, can we get get anything off yeah. of it? Um, so without further ado, I guess let's uh, let's get started. And hey, thank you for watching. Really noise. It's, it's going to be, be hard. To it's going to be noise. hard. But as as it gets later, I'm sure. But again, as I thank you guys for watching. Thanks for keep keep on coming back. Like this video, and share it. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Yeah. Tell your friends about us. You know, and, the uh, PRP. We don't. We're not here to joke around. We're not here to disrespect. If you're looking for gags, that's not what we're doing. We are here to learn, to help if we possibly can, but never to disrespect anyone living or not living. So if that's what you're into, then join us on our journey. And if it's not, well, this might not be what you're looking for. Absolutely. So, all right, let's get to it. All right. Um, how, how do you want to start? What do you think we should start with? Um, do you have the casing? We have the casing. I can grab the casing. I guess just... Are any, any, is there anybody here? John thought that he heard footsteps while he was setting up. If there's anybody that's here... It's going off. The temperature is going, well, I think that's the breeze that's setting it off. I can't, I feel kind of can it, can Yeah. It might, it might be, like you said, could be the wind. Right. Looking to make contact with anybody who has passed on that would like to make contact with us, that would like even just some little bit of remembrance to let us know that that you don't want to be forgotten because we don't want you to be forgotten. Absolutely. We want to know, we want the world to know that you know you were here and then you did something important. And even if you're not the soldier that we're looking to make contact with, maybe you were involved in a, an accident in the area, we'd still like to hear from you as well. Anybody that's here can touch either, any of these devices, go buy any of these devices and, you know, just let us know you're here. We have three different devices that are out. The red light is a REM pod. All you need to do is go near it, like so. And that seems so much get. louder in the pub. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> There's also the little ball. The little ball, you can push the ball and it will light up. And our old friend, our old friend, the K2 meter. Now, a lot of the things people say, well, a K2 meter, you could just be picking up something electrical. There's there is no electricity in, in this area. I can assure you of that. There's not even a pole, so. Anything we get is gonna be legit. It's propped up against the headstone, so. Right. Is anybody here? Who was it that John heard before? Is that somebody that was just curious about what we're doing? If you are curious, we're here just to learn from you. To learn whatever we can. You don't have to hide from us. If you'd like to talk to us, you can come out and talk to us. You can just touch one of those devices over there. You can I don't, if you can, you know, like kick a pebble, talk, you know, kick a little twig, make the leaves move, do you know, something like this, anything. Any way that you can contact us, we'd like to hear from you.
Yeah, this is freaking me out a little bit. Not really freaking me out, but we've, this is our third time here. I don't remember this. Yeah. I wonder if it was under weeds at the time that we were here. I was going to say either that or snow, because we've been here, both times we've been here was in the wintertime. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Well, if it is your light real fast, I realized when I went to hit record, I forgot. Oh, I forgot to put a memory cord in. Oh, it's in there. Why did it go back to... Technical difficulties are always fun on these investigations. I'm just going to put a new, a new one in, just in case. That's the issue. Maybe this... As as if there is anybody up here that is not the soldier that we're looking to make contact with, you can let us know that too. I mean, you may not know it, but this is a quiet road over here. But, you know, it's also a very dark road. And there are no lights. So it's very possible somebody might have been struck and lost their life on this road. If there is only anybody here that that happened to, you can contact us as well. Tell you one thing though, when the cars aren't going by, it's going to be easier to pick up, you know, voices or whispers because there's not that, like, almost gull force wind. Yeah. But we are going to be competing with the, uh, the critters. Yeah. Is anybody here? Can you give me a name? Your first name, last name, a nickname? If you are the soldier, can you give me your rank? Were you with the second New York? Or were you a man of New Jersey? Were you with the first New Jersey? If you're from New Jersey, so am I, buddy. I was born there. <laughs> born and raised. Wish I never left. I was born in a town called Edison, New Jersey. And then I grew up in Phillipsburg and Morris Plains. Where did you grow up? Try something. I'm, gonna, I'm pulling up the um, the names of the officers. Okay. That would have been of the of the New Jersey regiment and the New York regiment. Maybe we can get something. Just watch your back because you got about maybe five feet behind you. Yeah. Right, so. Let's see. <laughs> That's funny. 
3rd New Jersey Regiment. That was the re regiment that I uh, um, reenacted with. Do you like when people reenact battles? Do you think that's something that can be learned from, or do you think that's something that shouldn't be done? I don't think anybody that does it does it in a disrespectful manner. But how do you feel about that? Here's some information on the 5th New Jersey once it pulls up. So, does Camp Olden in Trenton, New Jersey mean anything to you? Were you there at the creation of the 5th New Jersey Regiment? Were you a man of Trenton? Oh wait, sorry, 5th New Jersey, this is Civil War. <laughs> uh, people watching this, you gotta realize that this is the kind of thing that you're gonna have happen. We can come up here and not always going to be poltergeist activity with everything. See, we're not we're not always going to get a slamming door. We're not always going to get a growl. And maybe going back through, you know, when we analyze these videos, we may get something like that. But this is why you have to be so meticulous when you do an investigation. You have to be so meticulous and going. But anything that you think you might have heard, you know, timestamp it and say, John, listen, I think I heard this. What do you think? And if he thinks he heard the same thing, well, then we may have something. And if he thinks he hears something completely different, it may be nothing to do with what we're here for. But. Okay. But, I'll be honest with you. I think maybe we should try the, uh, that app. Let's see. Let's, let's try. So, ladies and gentlemen, the app that we are trying today. The app of the day is ghost tube vox so we are going to give this a try today and we'll see how this this works is there anybody here that wishes to contact us Use your energy and form a word through this device in my hand. To whoever may be here, how do you feel about paranormal investigators in general? Do you think they're a good thing? Or do you think that they're a nuisance? Do you think that us coming here to try to learn from you will help? Or would you rather us just leave you alone?
flores. Thanks again to Carol Newfield for our PRP gear. Yes. One thing I kind of like about this video is, or this app, you can record. So we have a whole new video. Oh, nice. Uh, If there's anybody here, can you tell me what his name is? Not just be my imagination, but I thought I heard twigs. Yeah. But even if we did, you know, in the middle of woods. Mm -hmm. Could be anything. Yeah. Uh -huh. Could have been something off in the distance. You know what? I'm gonna try something else here. a little more accustomed to hearing something like a drum cadence that you would know. This one is called Duty Calls. These are different duties for the camp. Something that you would more more than be accustomed to. It's going off. K2? Yep. As soon as I started talking about drum cadences. Were you a drummer? Were you a fifer? Were you responsible? Where we rely on today, uh, an alarm clock. No, that sort of ruined the moment. Yeah, that kind of ruined the moment. I was trying to find just straight up. Did you recognize that? Oh, I got a blip. Okay, there's another Couple one. Couple blips. Did you recognize that music? You did recognize that music. Okay. You like that music? How about this one? Okay, we got more blips. Let's see how we get that. Maybe we can get a more response to this one. Let's see what happens. I'm not going to tell you what this one's called. I want you to, to, if you know this one right away, I want you to react immediately. Oh, there you go. Do you know that piece of music? Do you know what that's called? Tell me what that's called. I think you might have been a drummer. Were you a musician? Were you a runner? I 
I mean, I, I don't really, yeah, the, the, it's, I don't claim to be the most knowledgeable historian, but, but the, from what I know. We're playing, we're playing the music oh, yeah. at that time, and we're, we were getting nothing. Until that. Until we started. And from what I know, drummers were basically nothing, nothing not more than boys. They could have been boys or old men. So if that, if you were a drummer or a musician, you are one of the bravest people that was in the, you were among the bravest people of that war. Good blips, good blips. Good blips. I'm gonna play some more music. Obviously you like the music. So. Do you wanna hear some more music? Is that a blip? I didn't see one. I placed it over here on the bench. Come on. I don't think he's going to recognize that, dude. I don't think he's going to recognize that either. What's something he's going to recognize? Well, thank you for contact, making contact with us. If you recognize that or like that, can you light that up a little higher than green? Flag here. Oh, oh, I did not mean to do that. I apologize for that. Anybody watching this that thinks you see orbs, just be very well aware that there are many, many bugs out here tonight. So if we see them, we'll, we'll give them our due diligence, but there's a lot of bugs out here tonight. And now a little history about this area as well. So the swamp across the street was known as um, Hell's Kitchen. That, that whole area down there throughout the, the swamp and whatnot was known as Hell's Kitchen. And up here on the hill was known as Hungry Hell. Andy, this is a stump. That's a stump? It's a stump. It's an odd stump. So it says, the history is all right here. It says the Wyoming Valley Massacre and the Cherry Valley Massacre. 
Is that uh, related to Delible? No, the, the, the Terry Valley Massacre was in New York. Delible was, was in the, the uh, I think I was in the French and Indian War period. impressive was this to think how long Pendai takes to build a road and they built this road stretching 30 miles in 28 days wow and 500 men working on it every day they probably didn't have five of them just standing there holding signs either more than my thing. Uh, a lot of people say World War II was the greatest generation, and that they were very, they were very revered. But if it wasn't for the generation that fought in the Civil War, uh, the, uh, the American Revolution, none of those other wars would have happened. Do you feel like sometimes with all the notoriety that's given to other wars of more recent years, do you feel like the conflict or conflicts that you were in get overlooked? I'm going to turn this off. I don't think we're getting any more whoops, are we? Not, not really. One thing I, I've noticed up here too, you just smell it. Just breathe in how peaceful it smells. We got all this lavender here, all this heather. It's a nice little touch to, to an area like this. Are you happy with the way you were remembered here? Do you think this monument is befitting a man of your stature? Of what you did for this country? Got a little bit. You're happy? Does that mean, are you telling me you're happy with this monument? Happy that you were remembered? You may not be remembered to everybody, but many, many people will never forget what you and men like you, and maybe boys and old men like you, it was you that made this country. We would not, we would just might not be called the United States of America were it not for you and your comrades. For that, I thank you. Yes. Bless you. Thank you. So, if there's anyone here 
who wants to talk with us. I'm setting the recorder down right here on the grave at your foot. If you would tell us your name. You can speak into this device on the ground here. You can speak into the device that I'm holding in my hand, or you can speak into that device over there with the red and blue light on it. You can speak into any of those devices to tell us who you are, or give us any kind of message you want to give us. Do you just want to be left alone? I'm thinking of that question, and I really don't want to ask it. You know what I'm talking about? The other question I'm talking about. Do you want us to leave? That one? Yeah. If you want us to leave, we will pack our gear up and we will bother you no more tonight. I promise you. Just let us know that you want us to leave. Do you want us to stay? And talk to you for a little while longer and keep you company? Is it lonely up here by yourself? All right, I'm gonna stop this. There was something there. There was something there. Right at the very end. Oh, uh, we'll have to listen to it in the car. Yeah. Um, yes, John and I have done a, a lot of these investigations. We've got a lot of different kinds of uh, activity. One thing we've never got. If you're here and you were just manipulating that device over there to make it light up. Can you please move that little ball? We've never had a ball hit. Actually, we did once and it was here. Was it here? We it was here. It was the last time we were here. I remember when we had it setting over there and it was going off. We had the rum pod over there and we had the ball over there and it was going off over there. Did you do that? I don't know, I completely forgot about that. I 
camera's recording the, uh, the device, is that? Yeah, it, it, uh, it's, it's shooting the whole thing. Uh, move around a little bit. <laughs> How do you feel about the fact that you you were honored like this, that you were remembered? Does it make you proud? Are you proud of your service to your country? We're proud of your service. When you passed away here, was your family notified? Did your family know you passed away? Or were you just reported as lost? Coming through strong, but it's real hard to make out. Yeah. Hi. Go. Do you want us to leave? Do you want us to leave? There was something there, I missed it. Give us a definitive sign that you want us to leave and we will leave. You have our word. Do you think we're being disrespectful? Yup. No. I don't know. Yep. See, that's the thing, it could be either one. Can you please tell us again, do you think we are being disrespectful? Do you feel disrespected by us? No. So you know we're not here to be disrespectful. We're here to be very, very respectful, right? Very good. Perfect. Oh. Oh. We should hear it on this. Oh, yeah, definitely. That was really clear. What did it say though?
I have to go over that, but that was extremely clear. What was that? 55, 35, and I'm just going to pay close attention. What's your name? Good, John. Can, can you say your name again? What? Whoa. No. Whoa. I got to listen to that. That was yeah. something, dude. That was a sentence. I hope we got on there. That was a full sentence. Thank you for that. Do you like that John and I have come back to visit you again? Okay, good men. Good men? Is that what it said? I thought I heard okay, good men. That's but what I, I, I heard good men. We are good men. We're here to learn from you and to respect you and to tell the world about you. Is there anything you want, any message you want to relay? No. No, no. I got nothing to say. I got nothing to say. <laughs> well, that's, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, they, yeah. they really just, they really, I mean, he might just have nothing to say, you know? What's his, what's his post? Absolutely. That's nothing wrong with that. Do you know who General Sullivan is? Or was. Why were you marching towards Fort Wyoming? Kill Indians. I heard it. <laughs> Okay. Why were, were you wanting to kill Indians? That was a sentence, but I couldn't make it out. Yeah. And it was almost that same exact voice again. Yeah. Hello? Hello? That sounded like a young voice or a female voice. Either a female or a very young boy. A female again? Possible. Um... That was a song. <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely a song. Whoever is contacting us, have you been here before when John and I were here? Have you made contact with us before? Yes.
What's your name? Eric. When we knew that before, I remember the female name. I don't remember the male name. When we were here the last time, we were told a female name. Can you tell us that female name again? Kimberly. Kimberly. That's the same name. That is the same name we got last time. That's weird. That's weird. That's definitive, dude. I know in certain cases during the war, women dressed as men to fight. Were you one of these women? I was. I was? Are you in fact a, a female, a female buried in this grave? Again, is there a woman buried in this grave? No. Is there a woman buried nearby? Yes. Are you in an unmarked grave? Remember the last time she was trying to talk and a male voice was talking over her? Yeah. That's the same stuff that's going on now. Yeah. So for, we've been up here for, well, I've been recording for over an hour, so we've been up here for about an hour and 20 minutes. I'm just now for the first time getting chills. Yeah. And it's not because of the temperature. Were you murdered? I was? No. I was? No. All right, Kimberly, if you are here, can you please, I know I don't mean to make you jump through hoops, the device that's right in front of me that has a green light on it, can you please make that light up, even one blip if you can? I'm talking to the woman named Kimberly. female voice but I can't tell what she's saying. It's like muffled. Is there somebody, holding some spirit back. holding you back from lighting that up? Yes. Here, follow me. What's down this trail? Is there anything down this trail that I'm pointing the light at? Mm hmm. Are you buried back there? I am. Dude, I told you this freaking trail made me nervous. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe now we know. This is the same way it happened last time. We started talking to, it, to, it, to the soldier, and it's pulling us away. I'll tell you right now, we're not going down this freaking trail tonight. No, 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 no. We may, came back, we may come back during the day, but we're not going down this some bitch tonight. Go. <clears throat> I don't. I'm, just I'm getting such mad, such mad chills. chills. Listen, I don't know who's down there. We're not coming down that trail.
if there is some poor woman named Kimberly buried down there, I'm sorry for that. And whoever did that to you, or whoever's keeping you from talking to us, I just saw a shot on me. Let me go get the other flashlight. Yeah. No, no. Is there a secret hidden down this path? Mom. What did I say? I don't know, man, but there's something down there. God damn. Why, why, why are you saying that? Why would you say that? Because? Because, because why? Evil? What's evil? That's going off. Why does it feel? The entire atmosphere has changed. Huh? The entire atmosphere has completely changed. The atmosphere around here just changed. It just feels dark. Jerk? Are we the jerks? It sounds like two people fighting. This is just like what happened last time. I told you to do something about that freaking path. Maybe it's just me being a conspiracy theorist or something like that. I don't know. Conspiracy theory? Human? Yeah. Did you do that? Did Why I did it say conspiracy theory? That car that drove slow by. Are you nervous? I thought I heard Are you nervous. trying to intimidate us? I 
see those reflectors? Hmm? You see the reflectors? There's one and two. Yeah. I think this calls for a day trip. Huh? I think this calls for a day trip. That shit? Huh? Is that right? Did you hear that? When I we said that this calls for a day trip, a day trip, that shit? When I, I'm going to take my flashlight and I'm going to scan the woods. And if there's something in the direction that my light is pointing, I want you to yell, stop, as loud as you can. Don't go over there. Andy. So don't go over there. And now the, the run pod's going. So you don't want us to go down into the swamp? Ah. Or is it trying to devote our attention away from that path? And now our bats returned. Yeah, to the, to the path. Exactly. If Kimberly's still here, I want to talk to Kimberly. Kimberly, are you here? Kimberly, are you down this path or in the swamp? Yup. I heard yup. Which way? That was your voice. Yeah. I just came through there. We ran into the same thing in the pub with Tanya's voice. Kimberly. I'm asking this question of only Kimberly. Are you down this path? Was? Was. Were you moved? Were you moved? As soon as I move my, it's in there. I hate to say this, but I almost want to call like the cops tomorrow morning and be like, "Hey, don't think we're crazy." Should we call the police? Should we call the authorities? Should we get the police? Yes. Yes. That was clear. Are there, is there one body or multiple bodies back there? Is there 12 bodies back there? Nope. Maybe up. That sounds like. Uh, 
Alright. What are you doing tomorrow afternoon? I'm not going to have to work nothing. I don't know how to leave like three. You want to come back? I think it's something I think you have to. I don't, I, I think it's really not a matter of wanting to. Kimberly, how long have you been down that path? How long have you been down this path? Forever? It sounds like a child. Nothing like the other voices we've heard. Yeah. I don't know what that said. I wonder if I have to make a trip back to Panama. Oh, yeah? I really hope there's a body back there. Yeah, and I don't really think it's a coincidence because this is the second time in a row we've been up here and we had the same type of activity. It started out the exact same think way. Think about it. Be the perfect place to put someone. Yeah. Who'd look back there? Who killed you? Can you say again? That's a good one. Yeah. Are we annoying you? That okay. was a creepy voice. Yeah, very. I don't want to be the, uh, the pussy, but I'll be the pussy. I think it might be time to call it a night. I think it's time to call it a night. I'm getting really... Uh, yeah, I'm getting the heebie-jeebie-jeebies. And whoever's here, the soldier that we made contact with, thank you. So we're going to call it a night. We're going to come back tomorrow afternoon in daylight. And we're going to... Explore back there, down that path, and we'll videotape it if we find anything. You know, we gotta call the authorities again, guys. If you're watching this video, you may be going someplace to do a paranormal investigation, you may stumble onto something completely different, guys and gals. Yo. There's glasses back there. There's what? Those reflectings are glasses. Well, like eyeglasses? Yeah. That's a cop. No. No, it was. See? Can you see, like, looks like glasses? Yeah, let's get the hell out of Don't go on, dude. Now I'm interested. Now you're interested. 
Dude, I wouldn't right now. No, there's something else right there, too. Huh? There's something right there, too. There's been someone back here, dude. I, I, I got it now. No problem. Why'd you jump on me, dude? This hill drops off on the other side. All right, come on back out, bro. It's not worth this right now. We're too much of a chance of getting hurt back there. Yeah, they're, they're eyeglasses, dude. They're eyeglasses. Thanks. So, so want to do a paranormal investigation? Yeah. Let's do it. You want to do an actual investigation? <sighs> we gotta come back tomorrow, dude. If there's someone back there, we gotta. I listen. I don't think it's a coincidence that twice in a row we asked for a name. I didn't ask. I didn't say is this this person here. I asked for a name, and we got Kimberly. Exactly. And both times it was unprompted. We did not ask is your name so and so. All right, well. Until tomorrow. Tell you what, guys. Last time we were up here, I uh, started our outro with something like uh, we may have just stumbled onto something. Stay tuned. We might have. Have a good night, guys.